This is the Male Rights Activist Podcast, episode 216 where we focus on relationships, sports, pop culture, and politics from a managed point of view. First of all, we want to thank our listeners, our new ones, our OGs. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging with the fellas. What up? On today's show, we have the ultimate whole shit husband. Dude, I know I came up with these, but I still hope it's not me. (laughs) We have a post up from a man whose girl wanted to have sex in a cemetery. Dude, the only time having sex in the cemetery is acceptable as if he was on the set of Thriller. <laughs> That's funny, man. Jason Sudeikis allegedly banned his rival's music in his home, and a substitute teacher is fired for tweets about a black mother needing men in their lives. Ooh, we got all that and more right now. This is the MRA Podcast with Kyle and Kamal, where men come to talk and women come to eavesdrop. I am Kyle. I am Kamal. And we are helping you to understand the man that you love. Let's get to the news, Kamal. Let's get into it right now. All right, a cop asked Cleveland Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson how fast he was going, and Watson guessed correctly at 97 miles per hour, Kamal. That's pretty good. Yeah, man, which is proof quarterbacks are way too competitive. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes you got to take the L and just play it dumb. Come on. 95, 97. <laughs> I bet you ain't never got nobody that fast. <laughs> oh, man, he nailed it. Yo, a man who was left paralyzed while in police custody has had all criminal charges against him dropped mm. and is now looking at filing a lawsuit against the department. Is that right? Yep. He says, wow. although he is happy with the outcome, he just can't stand for this injustice. <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> he can't stand it, Kamal. He can't stand for this. He, he, oh, he, bad. That's you stupid like, for that. He, yeah, he couldn't if he wanted to. Yeah, even if, <laughs> even if I wanted to, I cannot. Stand. I cannot. Uh, hey, Kamal, this is your most wonderful time of the year, man. Your birthday's coming up. Halloween season as well, man. And sir. the cost of. What would you say? I oh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, it's Halloween season. The cost of candy is up 13%, Kamal. Wow. Yeah, which means people are willing to do a whole lot more for a Klondike bar. <laughs> <laughs> Old school, come on. Old school, man. Yeah, man. Millennials don't know nothing about that. Oh, well. Yeah, they don't know nothing about that Klondike bar. What would you do? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yo, uh, Foxconn, the company that produces the iPhone and iPad for Apple, mm-hmm. has unveiled a new pickup truck it plans to build in the United States of America. Oh, really? Yep. The only problem is after you take it to the car wash, you have to fill it with rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, Kamal, I'm sure you saw this. In an interview with NBC, President Biden appeared to be falling asleep. Damn. <laughs> yeah, man. In Biden's defense, though, the interview was recorded late at night. Ah. Uh, yeah, 4 p.m. 4 p.m. <laughs> Hey, man, he's 78. Dog, that's that late for man, him. Let that man sleep. Hey, man. Just come wake up when we need him. Yeah, like during interviews. Yeah, interviews, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, inflation. Yeah, yeah, Russia Stu- acting a fool. Yeah, honestly, you know, all that shit, really, I just need you awake for the student loan shit. Everything uh, else. Man. Yeah. Dog. Hey, I talked a little shit, but I sure did fill up that goddamn form. I sure did. It only took five <laughs> minutes, too. I was like, ooh, wee, I yeah, see your press. That shit. Yeah, I joke. ain't mad at you, AOC. Uh, it's the first time I was like, you know what, AOC, you ain't so bad. You ain't so bad. Yo, uh, a notification from the Apple Watch helped a 12-year-old girl discover and treat her cancer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Unfortunately, a notification also helped my cousin's wife discover that he was cheating on her. Oh. Yeah, so got to chill with the Apple Watch, man. Yeah, hey, Jason Sudeikis, that's what got, caught his wife slipping, allegedly. Apple Watch. Apple Watch, man. Apple Be watch careful, y'all. Cold, man, yeah. Hey, dude. I'm a fan, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dog. You got to treat the Apple Watch like a cell phone now, man. You, hey, you really do. Got to be careful with that, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, check this out, man. Speaking of being careful, come out. A referee was hit in the face with the football during a Detroit Lions game on Sunday, my guy. Hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, this is this is a very rare occasion. Normally, that ball is intercepted. <laughs> I don't have no problems with the ref. <laughs> that ball is going the other way. The Lions? Normally, yeah, uh, yeah. Lions? You know how it is, yeah. Yo, scientists have found a way to predict your death by how you walk. Wow. Yep, they said don't crip walk. <laughs> Man, that's hysterical, dude. <laughs> Don't that do is that. a good indicator. And you will live a tad <laughs> bit longer. A lot longer, brother. <laughs> hey, man, people lined up in New York for $5 cookies, Kamal. Wow, it must be really good. Yeah, man, this is actually what happens when you legalize weed. <laughs> they will pay for the $5. Fuck cookies. it. They need them cookies, dog. Your <laughs> cookies. Yeah. U.S. home prices could fall as much as 20% next year. Oh, wow. Wow. Yep. And if it only falls another 80%, we'll finally solve our homeless problem. <laughs> Is that all it takes? Just another 80%. Yeah. I, 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 it'll solve it for me. That's for damn sure. <laughs> That's a guarantee, man. Yeah, I know, man. Yep. All right. And finally, for me, man, Kanye mm -hmm. West's White Lives Matter shirts were given out to homeless people in Skid Row. You were they this? really? Yep. Wow. The black homeless people were pissed. Mm -hmm. They said Kanye West got all this money. The only thing he brought them was toilet paper. Uh, <laughs> that's funny, man. We come back, man. We have some feedback. And then we have a post up from a man whose girl wanted to have sex in a cemetery. What could go wrong? We'll tell you next. I will tell you soon. It's the MRA Podcast. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? I sure hope you're enjoying the show. If you like it, I invite you to go to our website, themrapodcast.com, and catch up on over 100 episodes that we have in store for you. If you ain't working, you might as well check us out. And if you want some more, go over to The World According to Cheryl and check me out on Cheryl Underwood's podcast. We post content there every single day. We have her normal radio show labeled SUR, and then the Cheryl Underwood podcast, where we get into her personal business every Friday. Then on the weekends, we have the special these shows and range from late night cupcake to Auntie Cheryl's house party to our gospel show, Spiritual Nourishment. Gotta check out the world according to Cheryl, even though I ain't on it. Ah. We got some feedback, homie. Do we now? Yeah, man. This one is from Charmaine in Temeca. That sounds like the house party girl's name, isn't it? Almost. Charmaine. Yeah, Charmaine. Oh, uh, yeah. Charmaine. Charmaine, uh, anyway. Charmaine, Charmaine and Temecula says, you guys cracked me up last week. Keep it going. Short and sweet, come on. I appreciate that. Last week? Uh, <laughs> Larry, <yeah. laughs> we, we got like about 214 weeks. Hey, man, don't be greedy, my dude. When we come back, we have a post up from a man whose girl wanted to have sex in a cemetery. Uh -huh. What could go wrong? We'll tell you next to the Murray Podcast. <laughs> According to Webster's Dictionary, being in post-nut mode is when you have a clear mind and you can make sound decisions as if you just busted a nut. Yeah, I don't know if Webster actually said that. No, nah, he didn't. But our listener Big Easy Q told us all about it and we can relate. Women, men, so listen, if you have a story of when you did something foolish. In pre-nut mode. Yeah, something really dumb. Maybe it was top grime, especially something in pre-nut mode you don't want nobody to know about. Hit us up and we'll tell the world. We can all laugh at your expense and hopefully you'll learn from your mistakes. Aristotle once said, the results of pre-nut mode is the best teacher. I think he said some shit like that. Send us your stories at dearirby at the mrapodcast.com. That's dearirby at the mrapodcast.com. And now it's time for a post-nut mode story only on the MRA podcast. Okay, this one is from Johnny in Adelanto, California. You know Adelanto, Kamal? I've never heard of Adelanto. I think it's like Victor Village. Hmm. Anyway, I would I say post Victorville. I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't even know. That. <laughs> not just playing Johnny. Uh, but I got a post. All right, I got a post. Not for y'all. Halloween edition. He says I met this girl online. First girl I ever met who actually looked better than her profile picture. That's pretty cool. Wow, I, I don't even believe that it's possible. But I know for real, for real. She's strange though. Mm. She's one of those girls who's into ghosts and spirits and shit. I had to put that and shit in there, Johnny. I ain't mad at you. We met her for our first date. She tells me she wants to have sex in a cemetery. All I heard was sex. Of course you did, brother. You have a penis. We go down there. I'm trying to find the darkest spot so we don't get caught. But she's hell-bent on having it in a certain place. Hmm. 
It seemed a little strange to me, but fuck it. I was trying to hit. All right. We get going. I hit it or whatever. It was cool. But afterwards, I asked her, why did it have to be in that exact spot? She said, that's where her dead husband is buried. Wow. He died by the hands of another woman's husband. That feels haunted. I felt you, y'all. I thought y'all would get it kicked out since it's Halloween's coming up. I love the show Johnny in Victorville, no, Atalanto, California. Come out. Where did Johnny go wrong, dog? Having sex in the cemetery. That's usually where you start, man. That's There's a good no place to start. no way I'm doing that shit. Then now... Now her husband's ghost, he didn't know this man from a can of paint. <laughs> now he knows exactly who to haunt. He Dude. followed this man home. Like, oh, Dude. oh, she playing? Is this, what, is this what we doing now? Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, man. Your man, I'm on your man's ass now. And he knows what your bare ass looks like. That's the bad part. <laughs> so now he's going to be haunting all kind of toilet seats and shit, man. Every Dude. time you, you know, you feel something weird when you try to take a dump, bro, it's going to oh be that dude. God. You disrespected his grave, dog. Dude, and then if you, when you die, Johnny, you know you got an ass whooping waiting for you. <laughs> I think it's going to be <laughs> waiting for you at the pearly gates. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> let, let, like, he at the gate, like, let him in. No. Come on. Uh-uh, him right here. Him uh-huh. right here. Adelanto. Uh-huh. Adelanto. Yeah, let him on in. Come on let in, Victorville. Victorville. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Hey, we come back, man. Jason Sudeikis allegedly banned his rival's music in his home. Would we do the same? Kamal and I give you our take next. It's the MRA Podcast. <laughs> Hey guys, if you're digging the show, then please tell somebody. People might say something to you like, hey man, you know what podcast you listening to? And that's when you say the MRA podcast with Kyle and Kamal. Or the MRA podcast with Kamal and Kyle. Kamal, our guy, Ted Lasso, man. Such a likable dude, right? Oh, you start watching the show. You know what? Because of you, man. I've, I've watched a lot of the first season. I'm still way behind, Kamal. But, you, you know, like I know it? that's your show. I do like it, man. Such a, you, you recommended it to me. You said, man, the dude is just, you know, super positive, man. And I, and I enjoy the show, dog. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, he's dope, man. But anyway, Jason Sudeikis allegedly found out his fiance at the time, Olivia Wilde, was cheating with rock star Harry Styles. We all know Harry Styles from One Direction. While allegedly left her. Now, this is according to the housekeeper, right? Now, let me just say Jason Sudeikis and Olivia Wilde, for whatever reason, I don't know if Jason Sudeikis is trying to save face, but he's coming at it like, yo, this never happened. They're joining forces against this nanny saying this never happened. But according to the nanny, I don't know why she was lying. He said she lying. He said she's not lying. But I'm just saying, oh, yeah. according to the nanny, Olivia Wilde was cheating with Harry Styles and she got caught. When she left behind her smartwatch. Hmm. I, ironically, they were filming a, her and Harry Styles were filming a film called Don't Worry, Darling. Looks like she looks like Jason has some shit to worry about, Kamal. A lot of shit to worry about. According to Jason Sudeikis' his nanny, the staff at his home, I'm sure he has a very nice home because he's very established, was banned from listening to Harry, Harry Styles' music after he found out about the affair. Kamal... Now, I don't know, man. This is the MRA podcast. I do know this. This is the MRA podcast, man. This is where you sure. find out how men really feel. Now, Jason Zedekis, he's downplaying this. We as dudes, we I, I, we kind of think Jason Zedekis uh, ain't wrong for this. How you feel about it, dude? What you think? I feel he didn't go far enough. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. y'all can't listen mm. to his music. Mm-mm. Not at no, all. As no. a matter of fact, y'all can't even say the name Styles in my house. <laughs> if you want to show that. me your outfit, don't say is this you know fashion. Is this is this shirt in fashion? Yeah, can't yeah, say yeah, Styles no, no more. Uh, 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 nah, uh, no. can't no say Styles. Style. The word Styles is gone, right? It is gone from the your lexicon. Right, I got one man. I got what? one man because I agree he didn't go far enough. If I'm Jason Sudeikis, everybody in the house, no more driving in the freeway. Because the freeway goes in one direction. Oh. No yeah. more freeway, dog. You can't walk in one direction in my house. Yeah. You got to spin. <laughs> spin around on the top. You know what I'm saying? Where you going? <laughs> I'm going east and west. Okay. You better How come you ain't be... spinning, bro? How <laughs> in the spinning. hell ain't you spinning? You know what I told you. You can't go in one direction here no more. Not no more. <laughs> We only mm-hmm. walk in zigzags in this hole. Zigzags. <laughs> you better walk haphazardly. <laughs> All over the place. Wait a minute. Did I hear you bumping into shit? I need to hear you bumping into shit. <laughs> bumping in. Thank you. Oh, shit. Yeah, obviously, man. man, dude, what? He be famous for wearing dresses. 
Nobody wearing dresses in the house. No dresses in the house, man. Nah, no, as a matter of fact, if you come in, ladies, and you you look good in your dress, you can't wear. You got to get out of that dress immediately. Yeah, I got. Yeah. You know, people be having like little uh, little slippers that you don't walk on the carpet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have pants right next to my front door. As soon as you walk in, pants. <laughs> Put these motherfucking sweats on. Pants from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pants zone only. Man, I, like, I like where you come from, man. Because as a man, we understand what it is, man. You don't want no reminder of the dude that was smashing your chick, man. They said it was so bad, Kamal, that Jason Sudeikis laid on the ground to stop his wife from going to get dug out and deliver a salad to another man. Golly, that's embarrassing, bro. Oh, okay, yeah. He he went a little too far on that one. You think so? Oh, he, he was laid down in front of the car so she don't yeah, go? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <sighs> That's it, embarrassing. It, it ain't that. It ain't that serious. I mean that that makes sense now. The Ted Lasso character, man, because it, it feels that feels soft, fellas. Don't be that damn nice, that damn soft. Because that, I mean, you know, sometimes your lady wants some excitement in her life, man, and that's what Harry Styles brought to her, man. He brought that rock star vibe, man. That I don't give a fuck vibe. And this is more proof. Remember we talked about Kim and um, Pete Davidson. Mm -hmm. Talked about how the day when they met, when they did that Saturday Night Live together. Remember. Yeah, he said that he was the only one that did not come to her after party, and she was intrigued. And as soon as he not as soon, but he ends up getting tattoos of her and all the kids. She ain't intrigued no more. She's done hmm. with you, right, hurts, right? And dude, I'm starting to, I'm starting to understand why Jason Sudeikis served Olivia Wilde uh, divorce papers in public. Oh yeah, we talked about that on right. the show. He acted like it was an accident. Oh, I, I didn't mean to serve her. A, yeah. You know, at the time, come on, we was like, we was kind of perplexed about that. Yeah, like, why? Yeah, it had to be, you oh, know, he tried God. to get her at home and the service nah, guys, nah, like, nah, look at nah, wherever. Nah, nah, nah. He gave Find her, her. <laughs> one direction. He gave the service guy one direction. Serve her ass on stage. Yes, let it be known I am done. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. When we come back, man, oh, you know this one tickled me. A substitute teacher is fired over a tweet about black boys needing men in their lives. What do we think about that? Kamal and I are going to tell you next. It's the MRA Podcast. <laughs> Hey guys and gals, if you're enjoying the show, let someone know. Whatever app you're listening on, please subscribe, give us five stars, and leave a positive comment. And why wouldn't you give us five stars in the positive comment? We're great. Yes, we are. This helps our placement so that other people can enjoy the show as well. And why wouldn't they? We're great. Come on, you know this one touched me because as a sub former substitute teacher, you are a uh, full-time teacher, man. Uh, I did some full time, but that's not the point. The point is this, man. I have I have been very critical about my students. I have been very critical about their parents. I have made a living talking about the students and their parents, uh, what they do, and my take on these students and these bad students and these horrible parents. I am I am all for somebody for comedic purposes going in <laughs> on the parents. I remember I was so glad when I stopped teaching because I was like, man, this might be kind of problematic that I'm talking all this shit and I'm still employed with the LAUSD. Now nah, I'm not. I can say whatever I want to say. But this woman, she is released. Now she can say whatever she want to say because a substitute teacher in Merlin, as y'all say out there, I, I won't say y'all, but you went to Howard. But anyway, shouts out to Howard Homecoming. Substitute teacher in Merlin was fired for this tweet, black women raising boys. Please stop letting your sons pick up your feminine traits. God, dog. I have the bitchiest boys in my class. <laughs> Tell us how <laughs> you do, feel, sub. How do you really feel, sub? I know y'all have some men around. This shit is getting ridiculous. Uh, it, I can see she's got a comedic take on this stuff, man. What Do I recommend um, tweeting this? I don't know why. I mean, I can see you want to make some jokes. Like I said, I did it for years, right? But you got to know the culture of the current climate. You cannot do this. And you definitely don't want to say, don't let your sons pick up female traits. But but let's give the other side of this, Kamal. Got to be careful. You see how long I'm thinking. I'm like, how do I say this? Which I hate the current climate where you can't just say it. You got to figure out how to fucking say it. Uh, I guess it used to be like that back in the 20s. You couldn't say you wanted to have sex with a girl. You had to say, uh, I want to deflower her. You know, you always had to be, you know. So you could never really just say how you felt. I don't um, think that was the. That wasn't the thing to flower I don't think that her. was the line. <laughs> I wish to deflower you. Ooh, yeah, that's yeah, so yeah. sexy. What a, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, you couldn't say shit on the radio, so you always had to. It oh, made no. you be creative. Oh, yeah. Uh, there, There is an argument that you want if, let's just, you know, take 
gender out and homosexuality out. If you want, no, no, let me say it like this. I do believe that you need two parents in your kid's life. You need your mama and your daddy, which one of them might be masculine, one of them might be feminine, but you do need both sides so that your boy has both. All right, that's as safe as I could be. Come on, how you feel? Uh, I think uh, she's got a point. Um, Absolutely. But here's the thing about it. I think her anger is misguided. Why? I wouldn't put that off on the women. Mm, Kyle. Nice. If I drop my newborn son off mm -hmm. to a den of wolves, mm -hmm. cannot be mad 12 years later, he, he come back walking on all fours. Mm. I cannot be mad at that. Mm. Lifting up his leg when he pissed and I'm mad at mm. the wolf and not teach them how to walk straight and be a man. Ooh. You know? Ooh. I, I say women get a bad rap for this. And I don't think yes, they're, they you know, actively, you know, giving their 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 sons their female traits. They don't do that on purpose. Mm -hmm. They, you know, the boys don't have anything to, they don't have anything else to look at. Mm. They don't have anything to wow. model. They, they just don't have that. And mm. so you come home, you see mom's legs kicked up. She got her slippers on. She got her glass of wine. Mm -hmm. and you think that's how adults relax. Mm. You know, maybe that's how dudes. I relax. Yeah, actually, exactly. Now, that's so it. What you really I tried to, to <laughs> I tried to paint a picture of like a a a, a, a woman, a, a wife, or a housewife coming, you know, yeah. from work. I don't yeah, even. I, I, yeah. I have slippers and a glass of wine when I come home for work, Kamal. Yeah. So the sub is talking about <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> And so, crazy, <laughs> man. what the hell's going on, man? Hold up, come on. What so, the, what? it's not all bad, ladies. You can <laughs> raise a Kyle. <laughs> oh, that's not good from what I've heard. My mom will tell you that ain't good. Now, let me say this, man. Let me revise the tweet for her. Can mm -hmm. I revise the tweet for her, Kamal? Do you mind yes. if I try to revise her tweet? Yeah, go ahead. Ladies, stop putting roadblocks in front of your man to get to his kid. Don't uh don't put blocks in front of the 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 visitation. Don't push for full custody and no visitation unless that man is dangerous because he needs especially young boys, especially young girls, they need a man in their life. Yeah, I don't like that, the restrictions. Mm -hmm. The restrictions. If you, if you if that bitch is around, mm -hmm. he can't come over there or he can't oh. be around your other kids or he can't Ugh. Yeah. All of those restrictions, like they get to make the rules. They sure do for like, some. Yeah, and, and honestly, in their defense, dudes go for it. For yeah, they some do. Reason. I'm one of them. You I'm one of the, them. You fell for the rules. I fell for that. You know why? Because I'm. I'm. See, come out. You. You come off as the guy that's like you know you more chill, but you're not going for certain shit. You're not you having know, it. But it, you're here's having the an argument. It. I'm not having an argument. I'm just like it'll work out. I'm not. I'm not going back and forth with you. I know. Want to move to the moon with the kids? Y'all go ahead to the moon. Man, let me send you some money for some helmets. Yeah, but you know, it's like when we were kids, man. We playing hide and go seek or tag and all that. Motherfucker always wanted to be shoemaker. I'm not mm -hmm. letting you be shoemaker all the time. Yeah, see, you know what I'm saying. That's, I like that. I like that analogy, shoemaker. That's so old school, man. It's oh old yeah, school man. Episode. My brother was always running things. Always thought I'm shoemaker. I'm shoemaker. I'm like, I was you know all what's time, funny? All time. I don't shoemaker. mind if you shoemaker, man. I'm gonna let you be shoemaker because in my mind, I'm like, I'm still gonna win it, on man. Even man, you can be shoemaker. <laughs> be shoemaker. I'm gonna win. You could be shoemaker. Man. For the uh, old young people, don't know the shoemaker is the one who put the you put the shoes in. Everybody put their shoe in, and then you do your little eeny meeny miny mo and all the, the little shoemaker rhymes. was never out. Shoe ne I mean, Shoemaker was never it. <laughs> Boy Scout out. And they would do all the little. That's how yeah, that. you, that's I I will not be the best. And, and then they are would not extended it. remix oh, for, for the, the rest, rest of, of the game. game. Like, like, ah, yeah, yeah Shoemaker was slick, man. And I never fought to be Shoemaker, come out. This is a trait here, man. Damn it, now I'm starting to see the day. <laughs> I just was like, oh, right, whatever. Yeah, shoemaker, shoemaker one, one time, and somebody else got we we. I'm shoemaker now. And then you, yeah, we go man, back and right. forth. But yeah, shoemaker. I mean, so I think that's who I am in general, man. You just can't be mm -hmm. shoemaker. You just can't make all the decisions. I don't give a damn if your decisions are correct. You mm. are not just making all the decisions. I will make the that's wrong beautiful. decision on purpose just because it's my turn. When mm -hmm. we come back, the NHL is trying to be a more diverse company. What but do they need to be? Mmm, Kamal and I are going to tell you why next. It's the MRA Podcast.
You listen to us, but Kamal and I want you to know that we listen to you too. Even if we don't always respond to your tweets in a timely manner. I love how you say we, man. <laughs> so if you have some feedback, maybe you agree. Maybe you disagree. Or maybe you just want to tell us how much you love the show or that you want to testify about how we specifically helped you out. Or maybe you just want to tell Kamal how he was right or wrong. But mostly right. Whatever you want to tell us, hit us on our social. I'm at Kyle Irby. I'm at Angry Kamal. Hit us up and you just might hear your comment on the air. I promise. We'll be gentle. Kamal, the NHL is 84% white. That low? They, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Damn. I was like, wow. I don't know what else they call. Maybe they. Maybe there's a different word for the different types of white people that are in the <laughs> NHL. <laughs> it's like another you know? another ten yeah. percent of like a sub white. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, they're oh, they're not white. They're Canadian. Like, oh, really? <laughs> okay, right, yeah, right, sure. Right. Yeah, they're Irish. Did you hear Caruso say he's not a white man? He's Italian. I was like, oh, I got it. Okay. Mm, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, so the NHL uh, workforce eighty four percent white. They're setting up a way they want to be more diverse. Um, I I'm not asking them to be more diverse. I, mean, I don't know about you. Do they need to be more diverse? How you feel about that? Who's asking for this? I don't know, dog. I have no. Idea. It ain't the brothers. I'm sure of it. That, that, it's one of those things. White people be trying to help. You know what I mean? It's like sometimes, you know, they'll 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 think they're helping us, and we just like, dog, this ain't what we asking for, man. This and is you know, not what we're and, and they'll run with for. some shit, and like, see, look, we're we're doing diversity in the NHL. Like, eh, no, that's what we saying. This is not what we want. You know, the shit that we play, diversity mm-hmm. in NFL head coaching, yeah, yeah. ownership. I mean, we're we're pro, most of the sports. fucking players. Yeah, we'd like to be some of the coaches too, right? Or the yeah. GM, something like that. Yeah. Hockey, they like we'll give you hockey. Like, we don't want this shit. We don't want hockey. When you gonna see? <laughs> we gonna get brothers. more diversity in NASCAR ownership. Hey, can we start with the NBA, please? <laughs> we need because... more diversity in country western <laughs> yeah, AMAs, <laughs> music producers, yeah. music awards. Are gonna have more black light. Doc, can we start with the Oscars, please? We we good on the AMAs, no. man. Y'all yeah. can have that. Run we that. Run with more that. diversity in serial killers. Like no, we don't <laughs> y'all, want y'all that. Keep that. Y'all, y'all keep that. Y'all keep serial killers. <laughs> y'all really good at that shit, man. <laughs> Y'all just keep y'all that knock shit. that out. We not That's asking funny. for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. Uh, that more diversity, kids cursing out their moms at Walmart. Oh, no. that's hilarious. No, we don't need that, we man. Don't need we don't that need one. that, man. No. Here, here's here's there's certain things that don't need to be diverse. You know what? You know where I never want to see diversity come out. What's that? When I go to get some Chinese food. Hmm. I don't need to see none of never diverse. I want to see everybody Asian back there making my shit. I want that shit to be authentic. I don't. I'm good. I ain't mad when I look at, in the back and be like, "Ah, oh, man, I saw y'all got us Asians back there at the Asian <laughs> ch- food spot. This is some bullshit." This I'm calling bull- Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton. Fuck that, man. Exactly. You know what? I don't ever think should be diverse. What's what's that? The board at the company Pink Lotion. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Pink lotion. Oh, you, you mean the pink, pink lotion. lotion like the, you For the, the hair? hair shit? That's hilarious. <laughs> the, the, the board at the pink. <laughs> Making oh, that, decisions? I, on listen, where to I don't want to disrespect one of our favorite companies, but I always hated that shit in my hair, man. For well, pink shit, lotion? Yes, it just, it just never went in enough. Oh, yeah. I think that's more for like... Uh, straightened hair because I would try uh, to yeah my sisters had the pink lotion I would put yeah, the shit yeah of course in. my sister had the pink lotion yeah I think it was gonna make my shit curly or something. yeah just, shit. Nah, 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 nah I just never didn't really the pink <laughs> oil what is it like pink <laughs> oil did, pink lotion pink oil whatever black people know what the fuck we're talking about it's so funny that we all know the, oh, the pink shit oh, uh, that pink shit what's pink lotion I bet I not find out I bet not find out that they got like a, a white CFO or <laughs> You know, you know. Some, a white guy in charge of marketing. Like, no! no! Like the white man who invented Jerry Curls, man. <laughs> hey, they Wait. needed diversity, though. It was a white man for real, for real? For real, for real, man. Kenneth Thompson has a great joke about uh, how he did it to, to destroy the black community. <laughs> oh my but yeah, gosh. the white man invented the Jerry Curl. Ain't that some shit? Hey, you know what else I would, would not want to see? No, what else? A, a, a diversity. No diversity. What is it? The staff at World Star. I better be black. 
I will, be you fun. know, I, I am rioting if I find out that they have funny. one non-black person on that staff. That is funny. Because now you're like, oh, so that's why are you <laughs> sneaky? <laughs> you're still, you evil one. If I find you out. You struck again. World I, stars, y'all. You so, guys run yeah. World Star ain't done a Somebody bitch. lacking melanin is making the decision to put this shit out. <laughs> Oh, that's hysterical, man. I am that is funny. Million man marching my way to World Star, <laughs> to the World headquarters. Star headquarters. Uh, in Detroit. Now, when we come back, man, we get into some whole shit. Later in the show, we got a dear Irby from a man that wants to know how to tell this girl about a problem he's having with her in the bed. Ooh, that's a tough one. What should he do? Kamala and I are going to coach him up. It's an MRA podcast. <laughs> Guys, I have a comedy album. It's called Be a Man at All Times, and it's on, what's it on? Oh, Spotify, iTunes, or wherever you stream your content. It's a damn good comedy album. I appreciate that, man. There's Stand Up on there. Kamal and I wrote a Who Done It mystery called The Cates of the Missing Balls. That's on there. Based on the true story. <laughs> Check out the album. Show your boys some support. And you can buy it on iTunes. Keyword, buy it. Stop streaming. All right, y'all. It's time for whole shit. What you got, Kamal? All right. This is from Miss Fed Up in Akron. Okay, okay. I don't think okay. that's her real name, but mm-hmm. yeah, she's fed up, obviously. Miss Fed Up. Mrs. Miss fed, fed Up. All right, Miss Fed Up. Okay. Thanks for listening. What you got? So it says, uh, my soon-to-be ex-husband side chick emailed me to not only tell me they were in a relationship, mm. but this bold bitch had the nerve to snap on my appearance. Oh, no. Prior to this email, I didn't even know she existed. Please, can y'all go in on my whole ass soon to be ex husband for allowing this disrespect to occur on his watch? Mm. Your wish is my command. Mine too. This is the ultimate ho shit husband. What do mm. we always say, man? Don't be sloppy. Not mm. only were you sloppy, mm. you allowed the disrespect mm. to occur, homie. You allowed mm. this mm. chick. Mm. To, to insult your wife. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unforced. Mm-hmm. Unforced. And how did she mm-hmm. get your wife's email? That's you, ho. Mm-hmm. You really in violation. Truly, mm-hmm. truly in violation. Uh, you know, beyond flag on the play, you are suspended Injected. indefinitely. Oh, indefinitely. Indefinitely, Kyle. Until they, til they review you? Oh, wow, come out. I mean, what would you say? Duh, I'm too busy thinking about the times I've been close to needing a suspension. <laughs> <laughs> Get hard for me to focus on what you're hey, saying. Because now I'm going through my memory bank like, oh, God, I'm so whack for the times that I did not protect the, the main person. You know what I mean? Like, I, Here's the thing about it. I know sometimes, like, you know, the chick on the side mm-hmm. wants to ruin the relationship because they want to be the starter, right? Of so course, I know sometimes course, they just, hey, I want your man or whatever. Mm-hmm, I get mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm. I don't condone it. As mm-hmm. a matter of fact, I'm totally vehemently against it. Absolutely. And, however, the insults, Mm-mm. bagging on the way up. she look or whatever appearance. Oh, hell, no, never, never. That never. type of stuff Ooh, is grounds sorry, for, man. you know, like the chick ruins your relationship, I guess you know, you know I'm caught now, so now yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm more time with the side chick. I'm not with this chick. Mm-hmm. This chick, <laughs> we'll say she's of low character, but I'm sure somebody might think, well, she's a side chick. Of course, she's low character. No, because mm-hmm. some are high char- character and they serve a purpose. There's some good purpose. ones out there. There's some yeah. good ones out some there. Some great ones out there. Yeah, they 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 are they are keeping marriages alive. I'm gonna say yeah. that. This one is. It's just a bad person. You got to step in, man. Now, now, listen, I could be passive to avoid shit, right? But there's certain times when pe- people cross the line that you absolutely have to put your foot down, and this is one of them. I don't know how she got your email, or your wife's email, but... I'm thinking and, and, he and, did. And, he he might have provided, or he was sloppy around... He was sloppy. Yeah. Because there's things that we do that your wife is going to say, you didn't protect me. And I've, I've been accused of not protecting. And, and, that, and it's whack in all forms but this right here is further whack because i get it sometimes you're so mad at the person you're with you want to lament that person to another person but it's always a bad idea especially when you talk about them being whack because that makes you look whack i always say this kamal big up the person you're with try not to talk shit about the other person because it makes you look bad when you do 
But I understand the the temptation, I'll say at least, to to complain to the person who has the ear because everybody ain't trying to listen to your bullshit but when somebody's trying to slither their way in they're the greatest listener in the world and so now you find yourself complaining about your wife and man she got fat and she got this and that but then then you'll regret it when she does this bullshit right there and you realize you couldn't trust this new person man that's what will come out whole yeah, shit whole man way. ejection yes we come back man we're getting into our personal lives man and then we have an update and by the way uh we got to talk about this at least a little bit man um your broncos come out yeah. not looking so good man yeah i know your birthday's coming up we talk a little bit about that about that but yeah man we're gonna get into a little bit of your personal life how sad you were after that broncos game on sunday we'll talk about it all we got a dear irby coming up it's the mra podcast <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? If you're enjoying this show, do us a favor and donate to our Patreon. Word. Just go to www.patreon.com. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com and make a donation to the MRA podcast with Kyle and Kamal. Word. It's that simple. Listen to the show, love the show, share the show, break the show off with some dough. Pars. All right, come on. I'm still fuming about that damn hoe shit, man. He should have checked that woman so hard, man. That's just a flag on the play, man. That's just a flag on the play. Uh, speaking of flag on the play, man, I hate to break your heart, man. I just, What's up? I just have this this Raiders shirt underneath uh, yeah. the shirt I'm wearing, and uh, you know we don't have the greatest record, man. But thank God we have a better record than your Denver Broncos. How you feeling right now, come on? It's been a tough. It was a tough Sunday for you. <laughs> Yeah, we suck. Yeah, 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 dude, man. Yeah, we suck. We playing a different sport, man. Everybody Oof. else is play, playing football. We playing tiddlywinks or some shit. Ugh, like not tiddlywinks. <laughs> <laughs> we playing uh, something else, man. Like everything is bad for us, man. Yeah. Sierra's husband. I mean, mm-hmm. C- yeah, Sierra's mm-hmm. husband's been stinking up. Plus, he got hurt, so he wasn't there. Mm, the great and powerful wasn't there. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Nah, they he did. wasn't there, man. He let's ride that bench. Mm-hmm. Uh, then the coach is awful, man. Yeah, the, man. All bad. The fucking kicker is missing field goals, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I think keep uh, talking, man. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm I'm pleasuring myself under this table. Yeah, <laughs> man. I'm Bronco <laughs> at mile high, man. I think mm-hmm. his swipe is only like six inches. Yeah, uh, yeah, the yeah, Bronco the- is. Yeah, he's flaccid right now. It's right, all bad. Man. Like, yeah. It's just everything is all bad. Everything is bad, Cabal. I'm so happy about it, Cabal. This uh, is not the way it was supposed to go. No, nah, I mean, it was my prayer, but I can understand you not wanting to go like that, Cabal. <laughs> not, <laughs> not at all. I'm loving every second of it, man. man when we uh, signed Russell Wilson, mm-hmm. I, f- I got the alert on my phone. I had to go over. outside. I was in class. I had to step outside to celebrate. That Text my hilarious. wife that I might not be home for like three or four days because I will be <laughs> celebrating. Uh, that's funny. Man, uh, I should have. Not so good. Not at all, man. This dude sucks. I'm but sorry, he wasn't even man. there. It ain't even his fault. But no. Nah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> his, his loser stink. Is on his, the team. His stink man. is still in the locker room. He ain't got to do shit there. Yeah, man. <laughs> He's infected the squad. Yes, man. I if you if you notice, man, I got the road gear today, the the road mic, the road earphones, man, and and I'm not at home in the studio, man. I'm up in Oregon, man. My boy, you know, my boy. I told told the audience that my boy's uh, going to be joining the Ducks next season. This season, he's he's working for the team, you know, learning the plays and all that shit, working with the offense, and so. Uh, you know, I had to come up here and lay eyes on my boy, man. It, I, I'm in heaven up here, man. It's beautiful, man. The weather is great. It, you know what, come on, man. When you just get to hang with your babies, man, it's nothing. It's nothing better, man. And so, I, I get to hang with my boy. I got there's to hang some, with my boy. Hold on, there's some stuff better. Yeah, there is some stuff better. But <laughs> from my better. perspective, come on. See, you see your kids every single day. Oh, yeah. So you know, you you one of them good dads. I I see my kids when I can. Ah. So yeah, this is I'm I'm like man, this is this is ah this is this is the life, man. This is great. I you know I'm working, my boy's working all day, and then after work I get to hang out with him. You know we going to dinner, we chilling. So this is yeah, man, it's the life, man. But speaking of family, your birthday's coming up, man. Halloween is your birthday, man. Give us you know, give us uh, what you what you got planned for your birthday, dog. Two things. Okay. Jack and shit. 
Ah, cool, cool, cool. The normal. Yeah. So, yeah, your, your normal birthday kidnap situation. You're going to be doing something yep. with the child. Uh, Something with my boy, uh, mm-hmm. probably taking him trick-or-treating today. I mm-hmm. I took him to go get a Halloween costume. That took about okay. three or four hours. The shit that he mm-hmm. wanted to be okay. was, like, okay, out okay. of stock everywhere, mm-hmm. you know. And, you know, the wife was out of town. So, obviously, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. duties fell on me, man. Mm. You didn't take the kid with you. The Broncos lost. It, uh, just, that's it all was bad, just a man. bad, just everything. And Detroit's hey, more, Detroit didn't drop two straight yeah. basketball. Oh, you're talking about the Pistons. I thought you meant the tight at the Lions. Oh, man. Detroit so, that's all bad high. right now. Yeah, ain't looking, sorry, man. yeah, it's not looking too, you know. All right, man. Look, man. Well, let me, I'm going to cheer you up, man. I know you like Dear Irby, man. Let's get into the Dear Irby, man. We got a okay. Dear Irby coming up about a guy who wants to know how to tell his girl that he's having a problem with her in bed. That's a very touchy subject, pun intended. What should he do? Kamala and I are going to coach him up. It's the MRA Podcast. You need some advice in your relationship? And can't afford a therapist? Yeah. Hit us up and we'll get you through this. We won't even charge you a copay. Exactly. The Dear Irby Letter is our longest standing segment on the MRA, dating all the way back to the webisodes. This is where we truly save relationships one listener at a time. We've saved marriages. Encouraged divorce. Taught a guy how to please his woman. Encouraged divorce. Yeah. So hit us up for advice and we'll help you out. Send your emails to Dear Irby at the MRA Podcast.com. That is Dear Irby at the MRAPodcast.com. Let's get into this Dear Irby letter. Let us. Dear Irby, I have been with this girl for about a month. Oh, it's fun times right now, Kamal. It's the good times. Mm-hmm. I like her. She cool. She can cook. And she's a freak. Sound like you got a perfect woman. Oh, my gosh. Out. Yeah, I was man. thinking the same thing. This dude is winning. <clears throat> He's in the lead, bro. It can't, but the it last... can't, it can't go bad from here. Uh, well, great. we're about to find out. But the last two times we've been together, something happened. And I don't know how to talk to her about it. Hmm. She likes it. When I hit it from the back. Another good thing. Oh, my gosh. This man is the champion. But the last two times she bent over, I could see, <laughs> oh, my God, toilet paper crust all in her ass. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Tell your face. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what to say about that. I wanted to stop. Mm. But I don't want to ruin the mood. Lately, I've been trying to press through it, but it's been bothering me. Should I just get over this? What should I do? Jerome in Atlanta, come out. Please help Jerome out. Jerome, mm-hmm. you most certainly should not get over this. <laughs> <laughs> what, are we, what are we doing here, man? Oh my what are we God. doing here? Uh, let me tell you what you do. What you do? Uh, you go to Amazon.com, Jerome. Mm-hmm. First thing mm-hmm. you do. Mm-hmm. You sign up for uh, become a Prime member. Okay, Prime member. Mm-hmm. Your first purchase is a mm-hmm. case of flushable wipes. Mm. You get that nice. flushable wipes. Uh, if you get Prime, it'll be there the very next day. Mm. Next mm. day mm. delivery. Mm. Next day. Crack that shit open. Take one out, and put that right, <laughs> right on like the the little uh, what is it the tank. Yeah, hold up, hold up, hold up. At her house? Yeah. You, they don't live together. It's been a month, dog. You put that shit right on that tank and say, hey, listen, this is how I get down, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, or, got a better idea. After you buy all the, the flushable wipes, mm-hmm. come up with some bullshit article that you read. Mm-hmm. I read an article that they say flushable wipes kills like 99% of the bacteria and blah, 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 blah kick some mm-hmm. bullshit and say, let's start mm-hmm. using this. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the thing, uh, Jerome, you know, depending on how you sell it, this can work. She says, okay, cool. I've been hearing about this. Blah, blah, blah. That's great. If she says, nah, I ain't fucking with that. Mm. Yeah, it's a deal breaker for me, man. Oh, wow. I don't think I can get that horny, man. Wow. I don't think I can get that horny, man, honestly. Uh, yeah. Depending on how she... I wouldn't say, hey, listen, baby, this is disgusting. You, you, no, no, no. Kick some bullshit mm-hmm. about, like, whatever it is you got to say. But mm-hmm. if she says, nah, mm. I'm walking, Kyle. Damn, that's amazing. Kamal's out. I'm out. Mm-hmm. Well, we come back. I'm away in. 
Yo, what's up? I'm Kyle. And I'm Kamal. And you're listening to the MRA Podcast, where men come to talk and women come to eavesdrop. Come on, this is such a touchy subject, man, for me. Uh, I'm trying to think what I would do, man. Let me tell you what I would do. Mm-hmm. I love your idea with the flushable wipes, man. I agree with the flushable wipes, but my my thought was, first of all, you got to see if you can handle it. Because this is you absolutely cannot bring this up. I, I think me and Kamal agree with it. You cannot bring this up, man. It's just awkward. It's really an awkward topic. I wish she didn't have to go right before, but maybe she doesn't always know. Here's the thing. It didn't always happen, so that's the good news. It didn't always happen, so it could have just been. Two. Last, last two. Last two. That's a trend. Yeah, it is a trend. Damn it. I, you're going to have to use the flushable wipes, man, to bring them <laughs> over and say Because <laughs> my original thought was, man, this too shall pass, man. But when you said trend, I'm like, ah, oh, you're right. Okay. You got to bring the flushable wipes over, man. Act like this is the thing you swear by. It's a weird gift, but just tell her. You know what? Make it about you. You know, I got it. I got it. Tell her when. Tell her you don't know her like that to be taking a dump at her house. However, the time of toilet paper she has will leave a mark on you. So, tell her you really like her. This is. This is the thing I, I don't want you to do because I think it's always bad. I think you always got to be careful. Sometimes as guys, we can be bullshit artists. Be careful acting like you really care about a woman if you don't. Because what tends to happen is you act. What happens is let's just say you really are in love with her. We just start to fall out of love a little sooner. It depends. Some of the, Sometimes women do this. But. You know, the great Patrice O'Neill said the perfect relationship is she's in love and he's in like. So if it's in that perfect balance where she's in love and you're in like, you got to be careful because what tends to happen is as guys, we start to get into post nut mode and we start to get over them. We start to cool on them. Sometimes women do this, too. But a lot of times as guys, we start to lose interest in them. You know, don't put on two extras acting like you really, really, really into somebody if you're not. Because even if you are into them, that's going to fade. And so if you make a bunch of promises when you're into them, then when you're not into them anymore, you're stuck with those promises. I say all that to say, be careful acting like I can see your future in us because they ain't never going to forget if you say that. Mm-hmm. But you have to you, you have to phrase it in a way without being a slime bag saying, you know, I could see me hanging out over here. And, you know, I'm just going to tell you that toilet paper you have right there. I've used that toilet paper before and it tends to break up. So can I buy you this? Say that. That way, I think that's the best way to handle it. You're telling her that that toilet paper is a problem. She might even be like, oh, man, I've seen that be a problem before. You got to address it, but just don't tell her it was her. Just kind of act like, you know, this is something you know. What were you going to say? Well, that's if if he ain't never shit at her house. Well, he hasn't. But just say, you, you know, you might be like, look, one day I might have to go over here. And that particular toilet paper is going to be a problem. I'm going to end up with toilet paper in my ass. And I, that could leave a, you know, whatever. You, you just make up a joke about it. But just say, make the toilet paper the culprit. And, and, and say that you've had experience with your own ass with that toilet paper. Dude. That's what a, I, go ahead. I was going to say, it was a chick mm-hmm. who I, you know, years ago, years mm-hmm. ago. Oh, yeah. Fresh out of college, man. Okay. You know, I don't know if it was a month. might have been two. Mm-hmm. She was coming over for a little, you know, yeah, yeah. little session. Yeah, fun time. Mm-hmm. She told me she was like, oh, you know, uh, I, I just, I had, to, I'm sorry I'm late. I had to go number two, but I'm on my way. I was like, yeah, I'm going to need you to take a shower first. Uh, Larry, that's weird <laughs> that she told you that, dude. Right. It was like, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm on my way now. Yeah. I'm like, no, nah, you're not. We got yeah, time. I don't, I don't <laughs> understand why you wouldn't use water. You know what I mean? Because he might be a freak. He might, he might. Especially, you know, yeah, I think it's very rude, personally, if you if you take a dump and you don't put some water on that ass. Especially if you know y'all have a pattern of having sexual intercourse. Because what if he's a freak? What if he goes back there? Now you that didn't, I mean, I can see no, yeah. So I, I yeah, shower shower that ass. No. It's yeah, no, shower that ass. Disgusting. Where can we find you? Twitter, Instagram, and Clubhouse at Angry Kamal. 
I'm at Kyle Irby 13 on Instagram and TikTok. I'm also on Twitter, Kyle Irby. At the MRA Podcast on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I'm at Kyle Irby. Uh, my website is kyleirby.com. And you can find us, our show, the YouTube version on Kyle Irby's YouTube. Please subscribe and leave a positive comment. We're trying to get these subscriptions way, 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 way up. The MRAPodcast.com is where you can find all 216 episodes that we have done. Come on, man. You really cracked me up today, as our listener says. So thank you, my dude. I'm just doing what I do when I Amen, do man. Amen. Ladies, we love you. Fellas, be a man at all times. Deuces. MRA. <laughs>